Hi, it's a real honor to be here um, talking about Streetwise Opera's 20th anniversary. It uh, gives, I think, everyone slightly mixed feelings because although it's an amazing achievement to get to 20 years, it's also the case that I think all charities' um, main aim should be not to exist in the future. And sadly, we're seeing homelessness at a, a more serious um, situation than has been in many years. But for the time being, Streetwise Opera has shown its vital place, not only in homelessness, but also in the arts. Um, and it's really important also to reflect on how that's happened. Um, I was in a unique position to be there right at the beginning. And over this anniversary, I've been thinking a lot about that one night when the idea first came up. Uh, as many people know, I was in a night shelter. I was working a night shift one night a week as a key worker. And uh, my day job was in opera uh, uh, at an opera magazine as a journalist. And that night, one of the residents, Doc, read out a quote from a politician who'd said that the homeless are the people you step over coming out of the opera house. And that um, comment created a bit of anger around the table, but also some extraordinary ideas, which turned out to be the genesis of Streetwise Opera. And Doc had said, Do you know, if we were performing in the opera house, it would change people's attitudes and they'd be looking up to us rather than stepping over us. It was a very compelling, amazing image. Um, and I think on reflection, there were a few of the kaleidoscope of ideas that really came out of that one idea um, that I think is still true and still important to reflect upon 20 years later. So the idea was, to begin with, completely authentic, and it had come from one of the residents. It hadn't been imposed. It had emerged out of a recognized need for that group of people to be able to redress some of this imbalance and injustice where they had felt looked down upon constantly and wanted a vehicle to change that, to show what their strengths and their achievements were. As, uh, as is often said now, what is strong about you, not wrong about you. And that one moment, I think, made us all feel that there were some possibilities in really changing um, the identity of ourselves in that process and people who had experienced homelessness, and also publicly the identity of a group of people who are incredible, who are aware in a situation not of their choosing, um, there was something about activism in that idea of of injustice and and really uh, changing that narrative. The idea was also incredibly ambitious, and that was exciting, but also very important in terms of uh, something quite unusual in homelessness. Certainly, then, uh, twenty years ago, where the situation. The, the mechanism of charity work was very paternalistic. Um, it was a lot of middle-class people like me, homeowners working in homelessness, and very few people who'd actually been through the trauma and situation of homelessness working um, there. Uh, it was, and therefore, I think there was a sense of charity giving too much. Uh, it still happens perhaps a little bit now, but this idea of, uh, those residents being in an opera was so ambitious. It was about high expectation, not low expectation, and doing something which would really push the boundaries. Um, and I think the idea was also very much rooted in togetherness. That night, we hatched plans and we shook our heads and thought, this is crazy. It's virtually impossible, but it really brought unity uh, around that table. And it brought a sense of togetherness, which Streetwise Opera, I think, in some of the some of my fondest memories have been about not just those productions where we've come together 
as a team, but also the Tuesday afternoons in Nottingham and Manchester, um, the regularity of the workshops, the family atmosphere that has been created through Streetwise Opera, the dependability, um, the togetherness and those, and actually creating a family where many people have been robbed of that um, luxury of having a group of friends, a group of people who they love. And I think not only Streetwise Opera, but community arts um, can really do this so well. Uh, and it's important to reflect upon that more than ever, that unity that is created from artistic uh, achievement. And then finally, I think that that togetherness really transcended over the years in terms of a togetherness between this group of performers and an operatic infrastructure of professionals, which became incredibly exciting and still is to this day, how a group of people from worlds apart perhaps can come together, bringing their unique talents to the table and creating something always that was more than the sum of its parts. Uh, and that says something incredibly important about the artistic um, pr processes and products that Streetwise and other charities have created. The productions were always more than the sum of their parts and of equal social and artistic excellence. Um, the productions were, were excellent because of the Streetwise performers, not in spite of them. And we were all so excited about that. So Streetwise has gone from strength to strength. Um, it's a real honour to be um, asked to reflect upon those early years. And we look forward to the next 20 years um, if Streetwise Opera has to exist. And we hope that homelessness reduces but if it doesn't, um, Streetwise Opera surely will be there as one of the most important and vital charities we have in this sector. Happy birthday, Streetwise Opera.